Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, Scott here. I'm one of the tech team leaders here at Calvary, and I have the honor of bringing you your word for the day today. We're going to be talking about what grounds you. And when you have the busy day-to-day life happening, what centers your life? And what brings you sanity in the day-to-day chaos? This week is a very busy week in the news, and it can be a bit overwhelming for many of us. The good news is that Jesus is here to help us. So let's dive into scripture and see what it says here. We're still in the book of Colossians. Let's read chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. I'm going to read in the ESV, and it says, Therefore, As you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. We get some very obvious instruction from Paul here for us to keep rooted in Jesus. Sometimes we know what we should be doing. Other times, we just need that reminder in our lives. And oftentimes, we don't realize that what we're doing isn't rooted in Jesus. Here are a couple things you could do to be rooted in Jesus and one not to do. First, read the Bible. Sounds simple, which is kind of like Jesus, so it fits. Start with one page a day. Set your own standard. Make your own goal. But do it every day. For those of you that have read the Bible in a year, for every year, for the past 10 years, I ask you to challenge yourself to see how many pages you can memorize. Start with one. Make your own plan and memorize. Another way to stay rooted in Jesus is to share his word with others. You can do that by joining or starting a life group. Discuss your faith with your family and your friends. Now, guys, I can't tell you how fast life gets off track when you're not rooted in Jesus. We can easily do things in our life that's not rooted in Jesus unintentionally. This week is a very busy news cycle, and we all know how the news works. That institution leverages your feelings of fear. We as humans follow the fear, and I don't know if it's a self-preservation thing or not, but fear makes the news institution work. Yesterday's fear in tech with Apple intelligence and devices and the impact in our culture. Today's fear is politics and tonight's debate, our political future and the balance. And we all know what an impact a debate can have on a presidential election. Tomorrow's fear, world turmoil, it's the anniversary of 9-11 and the worry of escalation of world events. And there's always some fear in the news about that stuff. Being rooted in Jesus will give you peace. You will be free to live your life in love and happiness. I want to encourage you to be intentional today. I hope to inspire you today that this word fills your heart to be rooted in Jesus. I want to encourage you to do the things that are rooted in Jesus. Let's arm ourselves daily with God's truth and read and learn scripture. Let's throw on the worship playlist or CD. Or maybe we just need to not run the news feed on TV to start the morning. Go for a walk or get outside and pray with God. Start your day with him and follow him. So are you going to be grounded in fear and not rooted in Jesus? Or are you going to be grounded in Jesus' love? I choose love. And I hope that you do the same. Calvary, I hope you're inspired to keep rooted in Jesus on a daily basis. Love you, Calvary. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.